Hi, today I'm going to show you how I turn an AC appliance on and off using an Arduino, an N-channel MOSFET and a relay. Now this is not the safest way to do it. This is just an example. You shouldn't try and replicate this yourself at home. You can see there's bare wires everywhere and there's absolutely no protection. So don't try this at home. At the end of the video I'm going to give you um, an idea of a better way of actually doing this setup. So before I continue, I'm going to disconnect the AC light so that I can show you all of this without any hazard of getting shocked. So how does all of this work? Well, let's start with the Arduino. The Arduino is being run by the 12 volt battery. The Arduino already has a voltage regulator on board, which drops the 12 volts down to 5 volts. Now the Arduino cannot run this relay directly. This is a 12 volt relay, um, and aside from the fact that it's 12 volts, the Arduino could not push out enough power to trigger this relay. So, the Arduino is actually using an N-channel MOSFET. Now, I showed this in my previous video, um, and if you turn on annotations, I'll link to that video so you can go and see how to use a N-channel MOSFET with your Arduino. So the Arduino drives the MOSFET, and the MOSFET drives the relay and of course the relay is turning on and off the power for the AC lamp. Now one thing to remember when you're using n-channel MOSFETs is that if you're using an inductive load for instance a motor or a relay which has a coil inside you need to add a diode. If you don't add a diode the back voltage could uh, actually damage the MOSFET or worse it could damage your Arduino so you must remember to put the diode here. Now this is a standard AC lamp, um, it is homemade but other than that there's nothing unusual about it. I have a LED bulb in here but it could quite as easily be an incandescent bulb or a, uh, a CFL. So if you've watched the previous video about N-channel MOSFETs, you already know how to use them and how they work and how they can turn on and off uh, external sources. So how about the relay? Well let's take a closer look. So this is an 8-pin relay. It's pretty much the same as a 5-pin relay, um, except that instead of having default on, default off, you also have the same on the other side. So you have two pins which are always on by default and two pins which are off by default, and the same on the other side. So how does a relay actually work? Well, it's pretty simple. You have two pins here, and when power is applied, it goes through a coil, and it creates a magnetic field which basically pulls these contacts or pushes the contacts and makes them touch different pins and depending on which pins are touching or which pins would be live. So let's try it out. When I connect the power you should hear the click and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see but inside here are the contacts and they're going like this whenever I apply the power. Now a relay like this can handle quite a heavy load but it can't be switched very quickly unlike a transistor or a MOSFET which is a transistor of course um, or a solid state relay which can switch on and off very fast making them good for say PWM. You couldn't do that with a relay like this. So when no power is applied these two pins here are connected to each other and when power is applied these two pins are connected to each other because the little terminal inside comes from this pin and it flips over to this pin. So that's how you can basically make something turn on or off. If you want it on by default, you would put it on these two pins. If you'd want it off by default, you'd put it on these two pins and then when you apply the power, it will flick the, re the relay over and those two pins will be live. Now I'm not going to go into detail about the wiring itself um, because it really is the same as my previous N-channel MOSFET video. The only difference is that instead of powering a 12 volt strip we're powering a relay and we've added a diode across the pins otherwise it's identical. The, aside from the fact that I already covered the wiring in my previous video, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video there's no safety considerations here so I don't really want people to reproduce this at home. Now what you want to do is buy a relay board like this. 
The benefit of this kind of relay board is that firstly it has proper screw terminals for your AC wires. That's a big deal. It's a lot safer than what I've got going on here. Secondly, they can usually be driven by a lower voltage, for instance the 5 volts that your Arduino has. So there's no requirement for an external 12 volt source, which I'm using because this is a standard 12 volt relay. Aside from that, it has various other safety features. So although this isn't a full how-to showing you the wiring and so on, um, it does give you a rough idea of how you can control AC appliances from your Arduino. And of course, it doesn't just have to be a light bulb. It could be a fan or any kind of AC device, basically. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below.